so. Okay, go. This is uh, Matthew here, Canopy Country. He's going to show you around this uh, White Hawk. I think it's a White Hawk. Yes, and, uh, it's a White, ho white Hawk by uh, Jayco. Uh-huh. So, and it's kind of their mid-range. You know, the one behind here, that's an Eagle, and that's like the top range. And you need about a, a one ton or a three-quarter ton at least. Yeah. But this one is a half ton, maybe one ton. It just depends on how heavy. How, how, uh, what uh, model is this here? So this one's a, so it's White Hawk and it's called their 27 RB. Okay. So, first benefit to this one is that you, since with a Jayco on their White Hawk on travel trailer wise, it's gonna be their more top end on their travel trailer. Yeah. So you still get the electric tongue jack yeah. on it. Benefit and 30 to, pound uh, bottles there, I think. Benefit to Jayco's is that once you get past their S SLX 7, so SLX 8s and all the way up till White Hawks, you do get, at least for us, we bring them in pre wired for solar panels. Cool. So, not paying for the wiring, just panels for the pa panels themselves. Yeah. Is that the solar thing down there? Yeah, so right here is where you're. Yeah, I'll that, show you that. So there. That would be, would be right, right, right down, down there. in there. Yeah. And uh, let's see, how many batteries can you stick on that too? Really? Well, what, they, what they've been doing now is just one battery. Oh, one uh, battery. Downside to doing two batteries is that if you have two and one dies, you have to go buy two more. Oh yeah. If you just if you go buy one, your strongest power draw is off the weakest battery. Oh yeah. So if we just so now the ministry is going to just one bigger battery, yeah. so it'll, just, it'll save you more, and they're starting to last longer than the two. Yeah. Huh. All right. And so then can you uh, show this us this with a half ton. Yeah. So this one's dry weight That's my wife. was about, I think, high end of sixty five months yeah. dry weight. Yeah. Um, just because a lot of it's saving you weight on your fiberglass siding, aluminum framing, so your your weight's going to be it's going to be lower. Yeah. Um, so the Jake with their White Hawk, so you get LED strips in the front of it. Yeah. Um, two and then two LED um, just lights right below. Yeah. And one thing Jayco started doing for the White Hawks, I think last year, 2018, because this is a 2018 model, is to do get the big front window on it. Yeah. Um, is one, that just a one year only? Or they, they started that, that year. I, from, I started here in 2016. I started noticing them in 2018. So I believe it was around 2017 or 2018 yeah, is when they started but, doing that front window. Okay. All right. Um, and then, or uh, at least as an option. We bring them in with it because we think they, they look nice. Yeah, this <laughs> has bigger tires and it's got, uh, looks like Goodyear tires, I think, down there. And then uh, show us that little uh, front pass through there. Yeah, so you still get through and through storage. All and then oh, yeah. access from both from both ends of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And there's a little slot right up in here. Yeah. Normally that's where and that's where you'd stick a table. Right. Normally you would come with the outdoor table, but sometimes with some units they will forget to put one in. And so we sell one, we'll take one for another one, and then oh. we'll order one to oh, replace yeah. the one that. So we, if somebody we really wanted that little resin table, they they could just right. They you'd you give that to them. Is this a 30 or a 50 amp service? Um, it's, it should be a 50 amp. Um, yeah. One, see, there's a cord there. Yeah, one thing that's, we do offer too is that that's a big thing yeah. if you are going to like rv parks and they only have 30 amp plugins um, to get on an our, adapter on our, on our parts and service we have all those adapters yeah. and things for that these have scissor jacks they're not electric jacks right so i kind of like that because then if you know if, if the thing breaks then you're like mm -hmm. uh oh <laughs> right and a benefit to having the manual ones too is with the switch you hit a switch and brings them both down with this one, you can go one by one. So if you're not totally le on level ground, you can right. still bring one further. Yeah, well, the you other. just get uh, like a, a drill bit and and a cordless drill and screw the thing down that way. Right. This has two doors: one for the front bedroom. Yes. Yeah, so your front bedroom would be through this door, and then okay. you're on no, the rear door goes into your living space. Okay. Uh, to this one, you pick up an outdoor kitchen. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That's so if cool. a person wanted to, they could use that for storage or something if they didn't want the outdoor kitchen. So there's like, does that sink actually hook up? Yeah, so it's it's plumbed or straight. Does it go into the gray, it's, gray, it's, uh, it's plumbed straight gray to your gray, gray water. Okay. Um, oh. So with it, you get a two burner top grill, uh -huh. uh, sink with hot and cold water. It's going straight to your gray water tank, and then a smaller mini fridge. Uh -huh. What's that little light switch for? Um, you do have lights inside oh. of here. Oh. Okay, cool. And then they left this top part yeah. gut, gutted to go. That's a place to put all your spices all and bug spray or whatever yeah. you're going to stick in there. I mean, and it's not, and it goes pretty deep. I mean, I'm and it's height. not so high up. Some of the kitchens are so high up that uh, you you feel like uh, you're standing on a 
something to be able to grill something. Right. <laughs> right now, this is seeming just pretty high up just because on our lot, uh, a lot of our gravel is just uneven. Yeah. Um, but one benefit, too, is that your power awning does come across the side of it, so you can have your awning out and still be covered. Cool. Uh, sometimes they'll stop the awning short, but this one, yeah. you have full coverage of the outdoor kitchen and the, uh, and the awning. Cool. And it's got the electric awning, of course. And then there's your uh, outside access to the roof. Yeah. Is it a TPO roof, or what kind of roof is it? I'd have to go... It's a rubber roof. <laughs> I'd have to go double check and see exactly what, yeah. what they do with their with their okay. roofs. All right. Can you show us inside there? Yeah. Oh, this is a 27RB. I think he already said yeah. that. And then... Uh, it's half ton, half ton total, right? It's, it, it takes 1,391... And, yeah, so your dry uh, weight is sitting about 6809. 6809, yeah. So yeah. So total with uh, 13 about 1400 pounds, you're looking at uh, what about 7800 something like that. Right on there. Yeah. All right. So with so with this one you you pick up one slide and for your living space it's about a wall to wall slide. So you get your U-shaped dinette. Uh, which will still convert down to a bed, and then you get a two-seater um, couch that's a um, it's a trifold and then it's a trifold couch on it. Yeah, and if somebody really wanted to, I'm sure you could uh, do two of the theater seats. Right. Probably. Yeah, th those two th those could probably fit. Uh, the thing with those though is with ordering them. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a little bit on higher end because you have to pay for the chairs. Yeah. And then also freight. Uh, on them as well. Best bet is if you go to a store and you can find two chairs that would fit there, that's the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. and you'll save a lot more on it. Uh -huh. This is a Korean countertop here too. Right there. Yeah, so, with the white, so with the White Hawks, what, you, what they give you is they give you a wooden cutting board sink cover as well as a sink drain sink cover. And then you get a residential uh, faucet. Cool. And uh, up in the cabinets there, do they have little shelves, or you need to put your own shelves in there? Yeah. So with the cabinets, they just leave them leave them empty on them. Okay. Yeah. On some, they you know probably if you get the evil, they oh, so <laughs> they probably nice. have shelves in there. You know. Yeah. yeah. And then is that a regular or looks like it has the oven here? Yeah. So you get a three burner top in the microwave or in the oven. And so then there's a place for knives in the back. I think that's what that is. Or is that I for believe. Air? That's for knives. Oh. And because you pick up the oven, you just get a normal microwave compared to a smaller unit to where they'd give you a con uh, convection microwave. So you see the normal microwave for there. You pick that's up an eight cubic foot fridge. Yeah, it's a Norcold. So a little bit bigger. A lot of places in that door to put stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the benefit to this one too being... It almost looks like it's tan. It's hard to say. <laughs> Probably an eight. <laughs> so with having knowing that they kind of struggle with cabinet space, you get uh, I think a total of three little pockets for it that actually have the shelves on them. Uh -huh. So you have one one big one here, another big one here, then a couple more down at the bottom. Okay. It yeah, looks there like you go. The slides in, you still might be able to walk through here. Maybe. Here's the maybe. other cabinet. Oh, right up here. Yeah, the slide in you'd have a little bit more room just because that table will turn down to yeah. uh will condense down mm -hmm. so if you need to put it up and to get to walk by you could just because that couch isn't going to take up too there's much there's the information in case anybody's interested yeah, there then our price on it would be this big red number right now this is the big red number there yeah all right here's information on on jaco's uh white hawk and then uh, it's got a corner shower, a lot of room. There's uh, the vents are in the floor. It's so pink. your floor ducted for heat. Yeah, but not for. Yeah, it, and then it's still got the team molding in the bathroom here. There. Yeah. So the really big benefit with the rear bath uh, White Hawks is that your cupboard space in here is very large. Yeah. Could Let's someone see. put a washer and dryer in there? If they no, want to I don't think I don't think it would prepped for that. There would be enough room to do your uh, plumbing to it. Oh. Uh, it's got a pretty nice little spigot there. Oh. 
And then over here, a lot of places to put uh, your stuff. Is that a plastic or is that ceramic? I believe this one's going to be plastic. Or no, I think this one's that this one's that one. The one this one's gonna be ceramic. Okay. All right. And then that looks like there's some storage here. And they try and put as much storage as they can just about everywhere. So like and on top of your uh, above your TV, you pick up a it's little. Got bit. a air conditioner with the vents and there's one of the vents. And a right skylight. There. Yeah, so that's another thing with the white hawk. Sky, what do they call them? What do you call those? Uh, Skyhawks or the the uh, satellite? This little satellite yeah, dish. Little antenna. Thing. I'm trying to think <laughs> of what they call it. Can't think of the name. It's it's one of the antennas. Wine guard. That's a wine guard antenna. But I think it's round. I don't think I don't think it's the one that has the bat wing on it. I think people are kind of getting away from that. And then uh, that's an AM, FM, CD. Yeah, that will do just about everything you need to do. So AM, FM radio, CD, DVD, and then it'll connect to your phone just about every way possible. So USB, aux, and Bluetooth. Okay, cool. So the big, the big thing with White Hawks, what they realized is before, well, a lot of people complain about their trailers were really dark. So yeah. with White Hawk being their higher end travel trailer, they throw in kind of a skylight to bring in that, to bring in an extra light, yeah. As well as that giant front uh, window that they have yeah, in the front of the trailer. There's a skylight. All right. Check out the closet in there. There's a walk-in closet. Okay. And so, like like any other travel trailer, you'll get your corner pocket um, yeah. wardrobe, but as well as this one, you actually pick up like a almost a full walk-in closet. Yeah, you can put a lot of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then you have access to outside from here. Yes. Yeah, so so if get... the slide's in, you can still get in here. Right. So you have your front window in here, Just helps that just helps them bring in the light, as well as you have that accordion-styled uh, blind sure. cover as well. And you probably can see some stars at night that way. Right. Then inside, you, you have another little vent ventilation oh, yeah. up on top. Uh, you could well. probably have a second air conditioner there if you wanted, I think, huh? couldn't you? Maybe. Um, that'd be a conversation with our uh, more of a part no, service I mean, side. No, if somebody it, yeah. really wanted to. If someone really wanted to. They could they... order it that way or... Yeah. Right. Well, well, this one, this is going to be a 2018, so their 2019 ones might be a little, set up a little bit differently. Okay. So with our whole entire so, lot right now, we have a giant liquidation of all the 2018 stuff, so okay. including this one. Yeah. Um, so one other, other benefit to having... Uh, Jayco's especially, they started doing things with their AC unit, or AC yeah. vents. Yeah. Um, so one, they'll open oh, it, yeah. they'll so open and close a... individually and you can turn them. Yeah. So in this unit, you just have one in the, one in the yeah. bedroom. Well, I would so think something was... this big would probably have a 15,000 BTU uh, so with, air conditioner. Yeah, so with think. only having one in here, um, what you can do on all in your living space over okay. here, is you can actually go through and close uh, the rest of them. So yeah. when you turn your AC on, it'll, 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 go to that. Yeah, it'll bypass all of them and just dump all your cold air into the cool. in the bedroom. All right. All right. So thank you for showing us. Uh, you Tell me uh, your name again and where we can... Matthew yeah. at uh, Canopy Country in okay. Yakima. Cool. And uh, what's the number for this place again? <laughs> <laughs> what's well, Canopy Country in Union Gap? In Union Gap and it's Washington. going to be... Yeah. He's a... Uh, Double check. Yeah, well, Make sure I'm getting the right sometimes number. Sometimes <laughs> it's hard to remember numbers. I'm yeah. careful with numbers myself. So it would be 509-571-1525. All right. Thank you for showing us. You're welcome. Bye.